guys welcome back to my channel this video is going to be all about the haul that I just got from Black Friday now I did order these online so that's why it took so long for me to do this video so if you're interested in watching what I purchased please keep on watching okay so the first thing that I want to show you is um, I have I have been on this bandwagon of buying a lot of Coastal Scents products since I discovered them and I am totally in love with all of their products there are a lot of palettes that they have and I have been collecting them here for the last month month and a half so the first palette I want to, or the first product I want to, I picked up a few palettes so the first one I want to show you which is I believe it's one of the newer launch that Coastal Scents did and it is called the Creative Me so this is what it looks like it's very cute it's the packaging is about the same as ColourPop it has you know that hard case and then it has the magnet that when you open it it you know when you close it it has that magnetic thing and then when you open it here you'll see the beautiful vibrant colors now these attract me a lot like it's just I'm so drawn to these colors because many, many years I have always been like the neutral type, the, you know, like um, the very soft colors and stuff. And then I decided at some point in my life when, as I got older, I wanted to be a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more colorful. And I just saw, you know, I just saw these colors and I just had to, uh, I had to snatch them up. So they're all matte shades, which is a great thing. There are no transition colors in this thing and that's fine with me. I'll just pick up another. I will pick up the transition colors from a different palette and that's totally fine with me. But these are beautiful and you know, I would love to swatch them for you, but I think that this video will be super, super long. So maybe at the end of the video, what I'll do is I'll swatch them so that you could see what they look like on the back of my hand but I'm not gonna sit there and talk through every single one of them so that it's just a quick video for you and it's not boring. Okay, so this is just amazing, amazing. Again, I like Coastal Sense palettes. They are pigmented. There's a little fallout, but you know, again, that doesn't bother me. None of that stuff bothers me. It might bother you, um, but this is just a beautiful palette with the different vibrant colors and um, they're very pigmented that's that's another thing and they they blend very well which is a huge huge plus you want something that's going to blend very well so this is the first thing the second thing i want to show you is the charlie girl by coastal sense here now again this is similar to the other palettes by coastal sense and here is packaging very pretty it's the fish swimming in the water Let's see they always put in these little sheets here just to kind of protect the uh, palette but here are the colors and, and these are very beautiful colors again you know they do have a few one two three four five of the shimmers and the rest are matte shades so that is a plus for me and these are colors that I don't normally have I mean you know, I don't normally have this color here. I don't normally have this blue, you know, um, this dark deep blue, it's probably similar to the ones that I have, but you know, the rest of the colors I don't necessarily have. It's a very beautiful, very beautiful palette. And the great thing about Coastal Scents, if you are animal cruel cruelty free, these are just perfect for you. It is so nice to hear some of the companies that they do not you know test on animals so it's it's a great thing so thank you coastal sense for not testing on animals okay so the next palette i want to talk about which i saw online on coastal sense and i thought you know this is interesting i didn't realize how big this palette was but this is the coastal sense blush and bronzer palette it's really really cute it's a very big palette which i think is i doesn't bother me the size doesn't bother me it's something that I probably can't take with me on the airplane if I'm traveling, but I think for home, I think it's a great thing. So the packaging is very cute, it's very chic, and it has the, you know, the the lid with the magnet, you know, the, the same type of packaging here. Of course, you take off the little plastic, and here are the, let's see, I'm peeking through, hello. Um, here are the different colors of bronzers and blush, and this one, in the middle is pretty cool. I think it is pretty, pretty neat. Now, these do not have names for them, and that's okay. Let me see, I didn't even check if there's names on the back of eyeshadow palettes. No, no, but that's okay. I don't need a lot of names. I 
see the color and if I want to put it on my eyelid I'll put it on or on my cheek I'll put it on anyway they have beautiful colors now they have some mauvey colors here they have some bronzy colors here and then here are some of the um, also the bronzers and the one in the middle and then here you have one uh, highlighter and then the deeper here's like a peachy color right here and this is a more deeper kind of blush I'm a little afraid of that color <laughs> to be honest with you but I will try it to see um, how well they do go on my skin tone but it looks stunning. It's a very pretty color. So I'm curious to know how these apply. So, you know, I will probably do a video on that so that you can see. Okay, so this, and you can see how big this is. Like, you know, I wouldn't necessarily want a big mirror here. Anyhow, so this is very, very cute, very chic. I like this, so I am gonna definitely do a video on this, hopefully soon. Okay, and then the other thing that I wanted, that I saw that I thought like, oh, I'm into, bronzers i don't have that many bronzers in my collection but i would i started like having an interest in um getting some bronzers so i saw this it is called the sun tones bronzer this is by coastal Scents as well and this is a medium bronzer so let's see it's really cute very cute very nice packaging let's see here i can do this Okay, so here is the packaging and it's very nice. I love the way this is packaged. I love that they give a little window to see, so that you could see what color uh, the bronzer is and the black outer part of packaging looks really nice. And here it is. And they give you a little half mirror, which is cute. This is very, very cute. Do you see this? This is very beautiful. Now I'm gonna just swatch it here. This is a very deep, deep bronzer color. You're not gonna be able to see just from the camera here, I'd have to again do that at the end of the video so that it's not such a long video. But from what I can tell, it's a very beautiful bronzy, and this is you know for darker skin tones. I think this is perfect. Anything lighter than this for me wouldn't show up. So I'm actually happy that I grabbed this medium color instead of the light color that I had seen because I wasn't too sure. Anyhow, so again, this will be in another video for a review. Okay, so. Um, and just so you know that when I applied, when I just rubbed it with my finger, it, it was very nice and very soft and very buttery and it looks like just applying it on the back of my hand that it, it blended out very nicely and there's like a little, a very, a hint of shimmer to it, which is very nice. Anyway, so this is what that is. The other thing that I purchased that I was like drawn to, I have been a fanatic on liquid eyeliner. I have been picking up every single liquid eyeliner, whether it's black or green or purple or blue or glitter, and I have just been just kind of addicted to it, I guess you could say. Sorry, I just threw the box down. Anyway, so this is the liquid eyeliner by Coastal Scents, and this is in the color Shamrock, so the packaging on the box is really, really cute very cute a lot of thought was put into that very pretty um, hot pink petals with the black background i think is very nice and then comes out the eyeliner here so you can see now this is in the color shamrock which is kind of like a green so i'm going to swatch this since this is just an eyeliner and there's not a gazillion of them so here is the shamrock maybe i can zoom in if i can zoom in Here's the color Shamrock, it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. So, the other color that I picked up is the color Plum. So, this is very pretty. I love the way this bottle looks. It's very chic, very here. I'm gonna swatch the back of my hand with this color and see, there you go. Here is the Plum, I'm gonna zoom in. Here is the Plum, next to the Shamrock. Very pretty colors there. So those are the liquid eyeliners that I purchased from Coastal Scents. And those are all the items that I picked up from there. Okay, so the next little haul that I picked up by ColourPop, I couldn't resist. I could not resist. I just couldn't. I just, I, you know, sometimes when you just like see something, um, especially when something, you know, is just launched, you know, a certain palette or whatever, I'm... I get so anxious, it's like, I gotta have it, I gotta have it. So, anyway, so I picked up the All I Can See is Magic Shadow Palette by ColourPop. It's kind of bright, so you really can't see. 
um, but it's very beautiful, the packaging in the box and on the back it has all the names of the colors from the palette. So I hope to see that those are also on the back of the palette itself. Let's see here, open it up. Oh, they do. Very nice. Here you go. Here are all the colors in the back. All I can see is magic. Okay, and let's open up this beautiful, beautiful palette. Let's see. Look how beautiful those colors are. I, it's unbelievable, these colors. So, let's see if I can zoom in. Okay, so this color here is called Top Notch. Treat Yourself, 1111. Now and Zen, Go Wish. Pitter Patter, Wishful Thinking, Something Special, Twinkle Toes, Tinsel Town, Never Never, Imperial, Teacup, Big Spoon, and save it for later. Again, I will swatch this at the end of the video just so that you can see, but they are just beautiful. You know, it's just amazing how ColourPop can just keep popping these palettes out and just still have an amazing, beautiful colors and the formula and the pigmentation and the blendability. It's just, it is just mind boggling how they're working. Anyway, so there are six matte shades here and then there are nine shimmers. Some of them are a little are dual chrome. Some of them are just straight shimmer. Um, but this is just, I can't wait till I play with this palette. I just feel like this is my next favorite palette. I just, you know, you just kind of want to snuggle up with it and just say, I love you. I love you. And then you're waiting for it to say, I love you back. And the only way that they're going to show you how they love you is that when they blend in and your eyes just look popping, just popping, just popping. Anyway, so, oh, and by the way, I was a little perturbed because I had just ordered and then all of a sudden, a few days later, Kathleen Lights, her collab comes out and then I'm stuck like, oh, I have to make another one. The other thing that I purchased is the, um, the Double and Tendre, which is uh, another ColourPop palette. I was on the fence about it and I just decided that I was gonna purchase it. So, it is very similar to the I Think I Love You palette. Oh. Interesting. The palette looks just like the I Think I Love You palette. I mean, it's the same packaging. I'm confused. Oh, 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 oh. I see. Okay, so on the back it does say, but it's interesting that this is the same packaging you think that it would be different do you think I'm just curious these are different colors it's definitely not the same as you know I could see some of them that look maybe possibly the same but I'm a little confused about this hmm. okay it's too similar to the think I love you I don't know if you have this palette please comment down below I would love to know if you got the same packaging if you ordered this particular palette from ColourPop. I really want to know. So please comment if you have this. Okay, so we're going to move on. Okay, so the next thing that I purchased from ColourPop is the Kathleen Lights, the Kathleen Lights ColourPop Lippy. Here, let me go back. This is the Lippy Stick, and this is in the color Taurus. Now, I think I was watching one of her videos, and, um, I think she had, she tried it on and it just looked beautiful and then she swatched it, it just looked really pretty. So I decided I was going to purchase it and it is a very, very beautiful, I don't know, kind of a brownish terracotta kind of color. It's very, very pretty. So, and it's a matte lippy stick so I am curious how it would look on me and how gorgeous it would make me look even more. Um, but here is... I'm going to swatch this one here since, again, it's just a one item. Here is the color. It's very matte. It did go on very smoothly, so I'm a little excited about this, uh, about this lippy stick here. So, okay, so that's what I purchased there. Now, the last purchase that I did, I went onto the NYX website and I decided that I was just gonna pick up so many things. There were so many sales, I was just like overwhelmed. Anyhow, so I picked up some things. Again, I have been like on this eyeliner, you know, binge, as you could say. And I picked up a few eyeliners here. Some of them, one of them is called the Glam Liner Aqua Lux. It's waterproof and I got it in this color right here. So I'm curious to see how that's gonna look on my eyes. So I'm just gonna swatch it here. 
It's very beautiful, very vibrant, okay? The next thing that I um, purchased is the also another of the Glam Liner Aqua Lux Waterproof. And this is in the color, it says uh, 08. Okay, so here, oh, it's very beautiful. Very uh, green. Okay, so the next thing that I purchased is the NYX Studio Liquid Liner. It says, uh, it has a dramatic payoff. Uh, and it, this is in the color ext Extreme Pink. Okay, so that is the color there. And those are the only three liquid eyeliners that I purchased from NYX. Then I decided that I was going to buy some of these jumbo eye pencils. Now I'm into the blues. I'm into the, you know, I want something to really pop if I'm going to apply it onto my eyes. So I got the 627 cobalt blue and you'll see it's just a stunning, stunning color here. It has some shimmer to it as well. The other one that I purchased is the Rust in the 619. You can see it here. And I am very happy. I have a few uh, of those as well in my collection, aside from those two that I purchased, but I'm very happy with them and, you know, never have too many of them. The next thing that I purchased, I wanted something a little bit more orangey, a little bit more pumpkin-y uh, lip liner. So I picked up the NYX lip liner and the color Pumpkin. It's right here. It's very pretty, you'll see. It's kind of have a it has a metallic-y color so I it's very vibrant okay the other one that I purchased is the um, auburn color it's also a lip liner so here is the auburn color it's a very deep burgundy it's very you know very auburny deep burgundy kind of I really like that one and they are very very soft the crayon is very soft and it glides on smoothly. It doesn't skip, it doesn't do weird things, and it stays, it stays on my lips for a long time. So the other color that I wanted to talk about is the color Purple Rain. Gosh, it reminds me of Prince. Anyway, so this is a lip liner as well, and I wanted something, you know, I really wanted something a little bit more than just the pink. I love the colors. And not only that, it came in this beautiful little uh, black sash and it has the NYX and you just kind of draw the string here and you just keep all your little things in there. Just, you know, whatever. If you traveling, you can put all your lip liners or whatever you want. Anyhow, so that is the haul that I was able to get on Black Friday and I hope that this was a fun video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It means the world to me. It really does. It just makes me happy when I see, ooh, new subscriber, ooh, new subscriber. Um, just because then I know that I am doing my job and I wanna bring what I can to the table. You know, I can't keep up with every single trend out there, but I can try to keep up. And we'll see you on the next video. See you later, guys. Ciao.